What's up everybody, Tree City West here. Today I have a follow-up video from my last one about vast GPU mining. Smith reached out to me in the Telegram and let me know that he had an update for the template that I used in my previous video. And uh, I spent a couple days testing this update and it is by far superior than the method I was using previously. So I just wanna show you this new updated method. It makes it easier than ever to start mining. Basically, all you have to do is pop your address in. There's no command line interaction. There's nothing you really have to do. You just pick the miner, pop your address in, and you're good to go. If you don't yet have a Vast AI account, check my link down in the description. I really appreciate the referral, but go ahead and log into your Vast AI account. So the first step towards using this new template is to log into your Vast AI account. And once you're there, go ahead and click on the templates button, and we're gonna find this new template. And I did get some feedback in the previous video. A lot of people were having trouble finding the template. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this hash, and I'm also gonna put this in the YouTube description. So go ahead and search by this hash. And when you search by the hash, it should show you the exact template. And I'll also include a link to the template down below. So the template we're looking for is the Zenblox Universal Miner. It's the Zen GPU Miner colon vast, and it has this hash that begins in 373. Once you find this Zenblox Universal Miner, go ahead and hit the select button. This will load it into your instance configuration. And once you're there, you can pre-configure your instance. So then go ahead and click on template, and it's gonna take you to the template configuration. It should say smit1237 forward slash Zen GPU miner colon vast. And then in the Docker options, you have an option to designate your address. So here you're gonna wanna grab your Zenblox miner address and go ahead and paste it in that field after the equal sign. You're basically gonna replace the default address here. And then once you have that saved, go ahead and select and save. Now, as always, you wanna check and verify. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that again, go back into the template settings, and it should have your address saved there. Now we're ready to go shopping. So as always, I like to come down, select the unverified machines, and then I also like to look at at least two GPUs. And then I'm gonna go ahead and sort by this time we're gonna go T flops per hour. And this is gonna give you the best ratio for your buck. A lot of times these ones will fail. You see this 8X 3070 for 158 at only 36 cents an hour. There's a reason this one's not being used. It's likely a bad machine, and you can see that by the deep learning performance score of only 9.3. With 158 T flops, it should have a much higher score, but it doesn't, so we're gonna avoid that one. Instead, I'm gonna come down to this 2X 3080s with the 51 deep learning performance score for only 18 cents an hour. Now watch how easy this is. Once I hit rent, it automatically creates the instance and now I'll click on the instances button. It's automatically gonna load Smith's image and it's actually gonna take the address that I pre-programmed in the configuration. That saves me a trip. So since you can configure your address without having to log into your instance, you really have no reason to log into your instance. This template will automatically take your address, input it into the miner, determine how many cards are in there, and start mining automatically. And then it provides a nifty web interface that you can use to monitor the miner. So just like that, after a couple seconds, you can see it applied the image, and now the monitor's running, and the status message is success. So what we can do is we can click on this IP address button at the top. This is the networking button. This will show you all of the different open ports and IP addresses in this instance. So what we're looking for is the one that's forwarding port 8080 to your instance. And this will allow you to see the web interface. So once you click on the IP address button, scroll down to open ports, you'll see one of the ports says 8080 forward slash TCP. We're gonna go ahead and select that IP address and the port number. So make sure you have the IP address colon port number, and then that's it. You don't need the arrow, you don't need the 8080 forward slash TCP, just the number colon port number. Then we're gonna take this over to our browser. We're gonna remove that extra space, and we're gonna paste this right in our browser. And what we should see is the current mining statistics for the miner that's currently running. So you can see I'm getting about 1,500 hashes per second. I can verify that it's mining with my address. And notice that I didn't have to set up my certificate. I didn't have to log in with the SSH. I didn't have to do anything in Linux. All I did was paste my address into that text box and then start shopping. And here we are, now we're mining. So just really quickly to run through the process again, 
All you have to do is sign up with Vast AI. Use the referral link down in the description. Once you're logged in, go ahead and search for the hash ID of the template down below. So then you can click on templates and paste the hash ID of the instance. It's down in the description below. You should see Zenblocks Universal Miner pop up. Go ahead and hit edit and then confirm you have Smit 1237 Zen GPU Miner. And here's where you can edit your address. Make sure to paste your miner address in there and then scroll all the way down to the bottom, hit select and save, and then you're ready to go. That's really all you have to do. Then you just pick a card that you wanna mine with, verify the instance starts running successfully, click on the IP address, find the port 8080 and paste that into your browser, and then you have a nice beautiful dashboard. You never actually have to use the command line interface or log into it. It makes it extremely easy, and that's exactly what we're looking for. And then once you have some blocks mined, you can verify them over on hashhead.io. You just have to paste your address in here, and then you can see your minor account details and the network statistics, such as how much Zenium supply we have, how many current miners, and what the current difficulty is. If you like the video, feel free to buy me a coffee over at buymeacoffee.com forward slash Tree City West. As always, my name's Tree City West. Thank you for watching. Stay mining and stay zen. Peace.